it's Barton Jennings here from Long Asleep. I've got an interesting case here of a 65 year old man who was a current smoker and presented with cough with sputum production over about three weeks, not responding to antibiotics. Here's the chest x ray, which you can see immediately is quite abnormal. Here's the right lung, which seems quite a lot bigger than the left lung. So, in the left lung, you can see that there's clear volume loss. You can also tell there's volume loss because the, there's mediastinal shift. The trachea has been pulled across to the left. Have a look at the diaphragm. The diaphragm's higher, and there's a bit of tenting. Something's pulling the diaphragm up and the trachea across, and there's this opacity here. This is the left upper lobe, which has completely collapsed. This is the left lower, lo the left lower lobe. The upper lobe is completely collapsed. If you have a look here, you can see the main bronchus, and it looks like it comes to a bit of an abrupt end there. There may be a mass there. It's a little bit difficult to tell, so we'll need to have a look at the CT scan to check. Here's the CT chest, and already you can see that there's abnormality. This is the top of the right lung. You can see some emphysematous bullae around the, the periphery of the lung, and the top of the left lung is opacified. The trachea here is pulled across to the left, which is like what we saw in the chest x-ray. Let's go through the CT, come down, we can see that this here is an abnormal opacity in the left upper lobe. The blood vessel is there, doesn't look solid, looks like a collapsed lung. Continue to scroll down, you can see some inflammatory change here, and this is probably infection. There's also, through the lung fields, some emphysema, which is recognised by these dark areas, which is loss of lung tissue. Scroll down further now, and look, have a look at the airways. So here's the left main bronchus going down and branching into the left upper lobe and the left lower lobe. Here we can see the left lower lobe there. And if we follow the left lower lobe, we can see that these airways of the left lower lobe are patent, all patent. This is the left lower lobe here, looking relatively normal. So if we scroll back up to where the left upper lobe takes off, here's where the left upper lobe takes off. And it comes to an abrupt end. So that's probably the cause for the collapse of the left upper lobe. And you get the feeling that there's a mass there. If too much soft tissue in there it just gives an impression. We'll just have a quick look at the mediastinal windows here. And we'll scroll down through, and here you can see it's very obvious with the contrast. You can see the blood vessels coursing through this area of collapsed lung. Let's travel down, you can see the blood vessels quite nicely. Here's the arch of the aorta. Come down further, this is coming into the pulmonary artery. Now this is where the left upper lobe we're looking at. It looks a bit irregular there in the lumen, and I suspect that there's some abnormal soft tissue around there. It's probably a tumour. So it'll be very interesting to see the bronchoscopic correlation when we put the camera in here and have, have a look to see what's actually going on. So here we are having a look at the endobronchial view that's sitting in the trachea, just going past the main carina into the left main bronchus. Let's head down the main bronchus, looking for obstruction of the left upper lobe causing that collapse, and there it is. You can see that's the left upper lobe there. Just below that that we saw before was the left lower lobe. Left lower lobe is patent, but the upper lobe is completely obstructed. And it looks like it's more external compression than endobronchial tumour, but there's certainly abnormal mucosa there. You can see some mucus within that airway suggesting possibly some infection behind there due to the collapse and so when the lobe's collapsed the mucus doesn't drain properly and is susceptible to infection. We're just washing some saline into there now just to get a better view and you can see that even while the saline is being sprayed in the lobe remains collapsed and does does not open so there's certainly a lesion there causing that external compression. As we look a bit further in we can see there's certainly abnormal mucosa and probably some endobronchial tumour there. We'll just go into the left lower lobe to make sure that's patent. And the left lower lobe is certainly patent as we expected from the CT scan. So there's the cause for left upper lobe atelectasis.